mid-30s, streamlined steam engines came into fashion. The first was designed by Carl Cantola, customizing a Hudson locomotive built by Alco in 1931. It was the first steam engine receiving a streamlined treatment in 1934. After a public relations tour, it served between Chicago and Toledo. It was named Commodore Vanderbilt after the founder of the New York Central Lions. The Lion Model 264 was sold also as the red variant, the Red Comet. Unlike the Blue Comet, it did not have an original counterpart. The 265 was the deluxe version of the 264. There were 12 variants, but the Blue Variant 2, sold in 1936, was inspired by a promotional streamlined train built for the United Truck Company Rexel. It toured around the US from March to November 1936 to promote products to truckists and the public. It was also designed by Carl Cantola, customizing an L2A Mohawk. The Lionel model was called the Blue Streak. The two fifty was the replica of the Milwaukee Road's Hiawatha train. Designed by Otto Kühler, a designer of German origin, it started its service in 1935 from Chicago through Milwaukee to St. Paul and Minneapolis. Four locos were built by Alco, and the last remained in service until 1951. In May 15, 1935, locomotive number no. 2 reached the fastest authenticated speed by a steam locomotive at that time, 112.5 miles per hour. In the same year, Lionel introduced his model. The industrial designer Raymond Loewy converted the K4 Pacific, the workhorse of the Pennsylvania Railroad Company, into a streamlined version in February 1936. It was nicknamed the Torpedo by train crews. In the same year, Lionel introduced its model of the Torpedo. For a time, the locomotive was the preferred engine of the Broadway Limited, serving between New York and Chicago. The 1688 was the junior version of the 238 Pennsylvania Torpedo. The streamline period of the original steam engines was only short-lived. The shrouds impeded maintenance and the covers over the wheels of the original torpedo were soon removed. The 1689 is the junior version of the Commodore Vanderbilt. The original was re-streamlined to a bullet nose design of which Lionel produced a post-war model. By that time the original had already lost its streamlining, namely in 1945, 
and was scraped in 1954. The 1668 model used the same shell as the tuna 1688 version of the Pennsylvania torpedo, but it was the only model which had six driving wheels like the original. For this model, the series of Bevo Lionel Steamline trains ended in 1941.